Oh, hey, partner, thanks for clicking on my video. Welcome to Hidden Gems. This is my new show where we reminisce over all the incredible masterpieces that have been buried in the digital storefronts and obscured by the passage of time. Last year, there were 10,644 new video games released. Out of those, probably like a hundred of them were actually sold copies. Now, is that because those were the higher quality games of that year? No. No. A wise man once said, there are no bad video games, only bad reviewers that aren't a fan of the series. The first game I want to look at is Lair. Lair. Rated T for Teen. Only on PlayStation 3. This is a game that every gamer should have in their collection. Even if it isn't necessarily in your actual gaming rotation, I just think every person should have a copy like in the back of their closet that they forgot they had. This is a PS3 exclusive which actually came with a reviewer's guide so that the game reviewers would know, you know, what to think about the game. And you can see the man there enjoying the Lair reviewer guide. A lot of reviewers said the guide was more fun than the game, which was which was not well received. This game is, has never been ported to PS4 or PS5 and I think it's total bullshit that Lair was treated like it was. You look at a game like Demon's Souls, which is considered to be this great game and you know, that game has, what, three dragons in it? In Lair, you will have at least 12 dragons on screen in one battle. So this is the better game, and at $10, you can't go wrong. Dino Break! This is a new game for Steam and Nintendo Switch. Clearly, it is heavily inspired by the long-forgotten gem Dino Crisis, and just look at these screenshots. Aren't these beautiful? Here she is shooting at a large egg. Cypress Ridge was enjoying a tranquil, unsuspecting night. None the wiser to what would wait for them the next morning. Eggs. Oh my god. This wasn't Farmer Joe's chicken coop. And those aren't chicken eggs. That is a chicken egg. Chicken is the T-Rex father. What was it? Behold. Dino break. Looks like you'll have to battle a Triceratops at some point. Here she is, <laughs> aiming an assault rifle. <laughs> Point blank range in a big raptor. Only a few brave souls dare to take back their city. Dinner time. <laughs> oh fuck, it looks like an absolute slaughter up here. Wow, this just, this looks incredible. Is this the new Unreal Engine 3? This is even, looks even better than the screenshots. Oh shit, the eggs are in here. I better be careful not to touch or hit them, otherwise they may hatch. Triceratops hatched out of egg. Shoot that guy. Shoot that Triceratops. Oh, he's back. He's back. Get him. Get him, oh my guys. Get him. Get that guy. Shoot that guy. Oh, oh there's another one there. Wait, why was the T Rex so little? Behold. Dino break. I think this game is gonna dino break a lot of records and go down in history as one of the best dino crisis inspired games of this year and at a budget price of $20, you can't really go wrong. What's that, two copies of Lair? You probably have, what, five or six in the back of your house somewhere? Go dig them up, trade them in for a copy of Dino Break. Why not? Now let's talk about A-Train. This is a series that I always get a lot of requests to talk about. For gamers that love to simulate the economic challenges of building and managing a train line, this is an incredible series series for you. I love the soundtrack for this. So energetic, you know? Music like this just makes me want to wake up in the morning and make business decisions about what length and color of a train car I want to put on the track. You can even hop on board and ride your train through town in first person, soaking in that phenomenal PlayStation 1 atmosphere. If you're more of a graphics nut, and I know that you guys are out there, Mikey, I know what kind of graphics you like, then you might want to check out A-Train HX High Definition 720p. This is the version where you can hear the graphics sing. Look at how blue that water is. 
and you know at twenty dollars you can't go wrong you could trade in dino break pick this up they put the box art going the wrong direction it's rated a for a train this is a great series last week i made a grand theft auto video and for those of you that actually read the video descriptions i left a hint in there for you that the trailer would be announced the next week which it officially was we'll finally be getting the first trailer for gta 6 in december so in honor of this great moment in gaming history i want to take a look at body and brain connection for xbox 360. this game is only five dollars so it's got that going for it although you do need the connect to play it so that's you know that's gonna bump the price up quite a bit no controller needed you are the controller when i look at this i remember that some hidden gems should stay hidden where nobody can ever see them again crazy frog racer this looks promising nine dollars huh let's uh, what what is this layer come on now let's see if this is worth nine dollars <laughs> Yeah, I would say that's a fair price. 7th Dragon 2020 for the PSP. The price on this thing is just tanked after 2020 and the events didn't come true like we thought. This is one of those games that you always hear about. Of course, when we're talking dragons, I have to compare you against Layer, and sadly, most games can't meet the bar set by that game. I have 12 copies personally. So let's check out the trailer for 7th Dragon and see what this is all about. AD 2020. Dragons came out of nowhere. Human was defeated. I guess it's dragons driving those cars. However, there is an only hope. Hunt all dragons or die. Frantic flee. Okay, now we're talking. <laughs> yeah, now we're, now we're playing. All right, next game. Robocop Rogue City. This is a brand new release. Just came out a week ago and already people are saying it's becoming a hidden gem. I love the movie Robocop. This is probably even better. I love the Robocop song where you go, go Robo, go Robo, go, go Ro. I love, I love, let's just play this shit and so I can go to bed. Look at his shirt. It says winners do drugs. That's not right. I am Robocop. I saw you doing drugs. Consider this a warning. That graffiti is fresh. I'll take care of this RoboCop. These guys just jaywalked right in front of me. Robo mode. Boom, boom, bam. Oh my God, bam, throw him. Get the fuck out of here. Dude, shoot that guy. Hey man. You're under arrest. You think you can turn left at an intersection and not signal? The sign said 15 minute parking. You've been there for 16. Through the ball. <laughs> this guy. I forget what you did. Through the ceiling. What are your prime directives? Shoot everybody. Okay, nothing disturbed. They're going down, sucker! My health bar isn't going down. I got him! I got him! You got this. You got me. Oh. Oh, you got it. Plenty me. more where that came from! Yeah, just you gotta get some better bullets or something. I'm too hungover for this shit. Alright. Kill this asshole! That was illegal. Wow! You can issue tickets? This is Robocop! Ooh, this guy parked in front of a hydrant. Oh, check this out. Check me out, guy. Here I go. BAM! Oh, that was badass. That was- There he is. That's the guy that parked in front of a hydro. Can't do that. That was only $10? I'd buy that for a dollar. I think that's gonna be it this week for Hidden Gems. Let me know what games you would like me to cover next week in the comments. Doesn't matter if it's Lost Luggage for Atari, I'll check it out. I mean, literally any game you wanna see, I'll do it. And that's what's so fun about this show. It can even be Izzy's Quest for Olympic Rings. What the fuck is this? I can get six uncirculated copies for $600. I feel like this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. What are you guys thinking? Should I pull the trigger on this? Let's see what this guy thinks. You should stay away from this one. All right. I'm just going to get 60 copies of Layer instead.